Okay, I am going to try to help you create an Excel spreadsheet, a simple document that would help you easily calculate the volume of a cone. As you see here, I've got a sample cone and I've got the formula down here. So the volume for a cone would be one third times pi times radius squared times the height of the cone. So let's assume you've got a lot of cones that you have to calculate the volume for. It would be very simple for you to create an Excel spreadsheet to help you do this. So if you'll open up Microsoft Excel, I'm going to select three columns here by clicking in the A column, clicking, holding, and dragging all the way over to the C, and I'm just going to extend that out to make a little bit more space. Oops, lost my, lost my uh, cone there. Okay. So now I'm just going to put some header rows at the top. I am going to label uh, label these uh, to be a little bit more helpful for me. The first one is going to be just R, and I'm going to, in parentheses, put radius so I know what that is. And then next to it, we'll put H. That will be the height. And the last column will be where we want our answer or our volume to be. So that will be the calculation. So the way this will work is if you have a given cone with a radius, you would put the radius in here and the height in here. And ideally, we would have the Excel spreadsheet calculate for us the volume. So when you look at the formula down here that shows us what the um, how to, how to determine the volume for a cone, we see that it's one-third times pi times the radius squared times the height. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in some numbers up here for this cone that we see. This one will be a radius of 8 centimeters, so I'm just going to put in the number 8. I'll tab over and put the height in, which is 18. So I've got 8 and 18. Those are the two numbers that are given to me, and as you can see, there's nothing here. Up in this area, right here you'll see this fx that's a, a place for us to enter a function or a formula for us uh, to work on so we'll always start with the equal sign that'll let excel know that we're working on a formula and we are going to go ahead and plug this in now the first thing we want to do is um, we don't want our numbers to tend up being really long we we'll want to round those up so let's we're going to start with the rounding function so ultimately we want this uh, number to be rounded to a nice even number so we're just going to type in the word round and that is a function with Excel and then I'm going to hit the parentheses key twice and I want to do 1 divided by 3 or 1 backslash 3 that's 1 third and we'll take that number end parentheses and we want to take that times pi and in Excel uh, just use the uh, little star button, the asterisk. You'll find that on the neat, on number pad or above the number 8. So you're going to take one third times pi, and here uh, in Excel we can just put in pi, pi, and an open and closed parentheses. So that's going to give us pi. So it's one third pi times, so again the shifted 8 key, the multiplication symbol, and we're going to tell it that we want the radius to be whatever is over here in this square here which is a2 so if I just click on it right now you'll see that up here it has already selected it's put in a2 so we're good to go but we want a2 to be squared so whatever this number is we want to square it and in order in, in Microsoft, Ex, uh, Microsoft Excel in order for it to use exponents we have to put a little caret in there which is uh, shift and then the number six so you'll hit that and that means an exponent and an exponent of two so it's a2 whatever's in the cell of a2 and we're gonna square it with that little caret and the two and then after we've got that number we're gonna take that times and you can see down here it's r squared times height so again we'll hit the shifted 8 key which is multiplication and we're gonna times it whatever number is here which is b2 
and then we'll end this uh, and we're still in the round function so this is the end of the formula but because we wanted to round it we're now ready for a comma and it's going to ask us how many digits after the decimal point do we want it to round to we want a nice even number so I don't want any uh, any uh, digits past the decimal so I'm just going to put a zero and then end parentheses and your formula should look like that once you've done that you can hit the enter key and now you can see that the volume has been calculated out if the radius is eight centimeters down here it's eight centimeters and the height is 18 centimeters the volume for this is 1206 centimeters cubed so you'll have to remember to add that centimeters cubed in there but uh, we can we can practice this um, as many as you like we can put a four in there just come up with a any round random numbers four and a ten so if the radius was four and the height was ten now you'll see there's nothing over here because we haven't put any formula here but what we could do is just take this formula here instead of uh, writing the whole thing again we could just grab this little circle, this little square at the corner of this cell, click it and hold and just drag it down. And as you come down, it will copy that formula. So right now you'll see a bunch of zeros because there's no number here and there's no number here. In cell A5, there's nothing in A5 and nothing in B5, so therefore C is going to be zero because you're multiplying numbers by, z by nothing. So hopefully that'll help if you have any... Uh, homework assignments that you need to calculate the volume of a co cone this is where you can do that hope that helped